Tatiana, your favorite astronaut, and welcome to the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. And this video, it's about my favorite settings, the starting point on a light pollution sky, Bortel 6. So I'm going to be showing how do I start my imaging sessions using different settings, presets, uh, gain and shutter speed. And also I am going to be showing the Dwarf 3 telescope go-to capabilities that you can do multiple targets in one night without even touching the telescope. Okay, so I am going to start this process after connecting the telescope and be sure that the stars are in focus. Because I already mastered the polar alignment, I can skip some of the steps. Be sure to watch some of my previous videos where I show how to polar align accurately. Oh my goodness, perfect alignment will lucky me. And you can go directly, uh, once you connect the telescope, go into the sky atlas, and then you continue the process of a polar line, or you can polar align first after going uh, into astro mode and then go into Sky Atlas and pick your target. Time to find the North American Nebula, C20, and send the telescope there. Every time you change target, it's going to do a new calibration. Let the telescope do the calibration. Don't touch the telescope anymore. Once you have your polar align has been successful, leave it like that. Don't touch it. Don't move it. Don't tweak it. Let it go. It's going to do a regular calibration and then it's going to find your target. Okay, so the calibration didn't take that long. It's already saying that it's tracking on C20. And I always like to start with a, a 6090 preset um, for nebulas. Like I said, just let it capture as much light and data as it can. When you are limiting the uh, telescope on the light that it's coming in, unless it's an extremely bright target like the Pleiades or... Um, uh, the Orion Nebula, it's very bright. Then you may want to bring the exposure time a little bit lower. But for nebulosities overall, 60 seconds works great. You just have to play a little bit with the gain. And you can start at 60 and then it can be 90. Uh, even higher than that. Just to give you an example with my big telescope, the Sky Watcher, which is a thousand millimeter 10 inch Newtonian telescope, I use 120 gain, period. That's that's the gain that I use most of the time. I want to do preset 6090, which I already have darks there. I also want to use the dual band filter. So I am starting a new channel. Uh, just in Spanish for astrophotography, smart telescopes, the giveaways and everything. And the name is Tu Astroner Favorita. Of course, it's going to be that. So be sure to go and like this new brand new channel. And if you want to learn some Spanish uh, or just listen to me in Spanish, you can go there and subscribe too. And we're going to see <laughs> how it looks and I believe that is American Nebula. Look, I already starting to see some little details in this just uh, 60 seconds. So definitely it's the right one. So it's right on target, right in the middle, precision and fast. I mean, come on dwarf. Come on dwarf lovers and others. So now it's time to change to another target. And for that, you can end the session by pressing on the uh, red button. Just stop end the, the uh, current session. And it's going to ask you if you want to end the session. And you're going to say yes. 
And then immediately after that, go into the sky atlas. But just remember, don't touch the telescope. Let it, leave it alone. It's already polar aligned. It's going to continue with the uh, process of uh, calibration without doing polar alignment again. Dwarf 3 is going to ask you if you want to stop the current session and continue. You want to say yes and current session because I'm going to go into the Pelican Nebula and it will go again and do its calibration thing and let's see how long it takes. Just a matter of a few minutes. Go to processing. This is going really good. Woohoo! Done. I mean, come on. How long was that? And I will also do two frames, two minutes, to be sure that I am on target, that I am on the 60, 90, 60 seconds per frame, 90 gain. That's kind of like the sweet spot for me right now. My first image on the Pelican Nebula. Come on, show it to me. It's going to be so good. That is the Pelican Nebula right in the middle of the screen. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the moon is, the sky is very bright tonight. Long night, but it's going to be a good one. Oh, comets, nebulas, oh, what else? I was able to capture around two hours of each target. And I think the imaging session went very well. And now I want to show you the stack image that comes directly from the telescope and also my edit in Pixing Side, which is a light editing, and see how much data this telescope was able to capture in just two hours.